Hello everyone, uh, Paul here from the Pin Academy. So uh, if anyone would just come across me or would meet and ask me what price action is, my answer would simply be, uh, this is just uh, simply a behavior of price in a particular way, right? A behavior of price, right? Price action, price is acting. So meaning it's just a, a, a certain behavior, how price is behaving at a particular moment, right? Then uh, what What if someone asked you what a setup is, if that question is directed to me, uh, I would simply say that it's a, a set of rules that uh, one is required to apply, right? A setup, uh, the setup in your sitting room or your lounge or your living room, whatever, how, how you want to call it. Uh, a setup is how you've organized yourself. What are the rules? How do you behave? Uh, there? The way you set up your living room is how you want, what you want to do. Uh, if you want to be playing games, you're going to put up... Uh, uh, gaming uh, things in the in the living room. If you want to play, depending if in the bedroom, how do you set up your bedroom? A setup is simply uh, uh, a, a, a set of rules, right? So if you combine the combine the two things, price, action, setups, it means that uh, we are going to uh, put together rules, and uh, those rules should be giving us a particular way price should be behaving, right? And if you've been following this channel, you clearly know that we uh, there are certain rules that we follow. With uh, we trade using M's and W's that are shapes and patterns. We trade we trade impulses and we follow the trend, right? I highly recommend that in case, uh, even if your rules are up together, I really recommend uh, following the trend. But if you're very comfortable with your rules and you've done it over and over, you can trade also reversals. But I do recommend highly uh, trade conversions. So in this video, I would like us to look at uh, some setups that we spoke about in our previous videos. During my breakdowns, I normally use the break, uh, 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 the breakdowns that we have done before. So that you can learn from what we talked about and also we do a new breakdown applying the same rules that uh, we have taught you guys, right? So we're going to be looking at GBPJPY. Uh, I gave you GBPJPY, we looked at CADJPY. Now there's one that I didn't give you guys, which is New Zealand JPY. Actually, I think we should leave it out. Uh, New Zealand JPY, I, I traded it also. Actually, it was one of the better ones uh, out of the all, all the other ones. So all of them were had, having JPY because JPY had the US. Uh, it had the the its interest rate uh, to be uh, released this previous this week that has just ended today. Right, today is a Friday, so the week has ended. Right. So I'm just going to be using GBP JPY and CAD JPY. Those who trade it. Why do I, why am I speaking about JPY? I like speaking about USD and JPY. Why USD one? Because most of the people trade at least a pair that involves the US dollar. Then why the JPY? Now, the JPY and CAD are my favorite. Uh, why? Because the JPY is one of the most stable currencies in the world. Actually, to me, it's the most stable currency. If you look at any pair that involves JPY, when it is trending, it is clearly trending. When it is ranging, it is clearly ranging. So it's easier at least to identify your rules and to uh, come up with rules around JPY pairs. That's according to my opinion. But... Uh, you can also look at it in your own way, but according to me, that is it. You can try to back test and check out what I've just mentioned. So, uh, this is what happened last week, but let's just clear everything. Uh, well, just just for a, a recap, we say that we expected the market to come and retest this area here, and you can see it retested, and we excited to push up. So the week has closed when the market has made this big rejection here. So does this big re rejection mean that actually we are going lower? Let's we are going to find out. So let me just clear everything here. Now, starting from the monthly time frame, uh, what do we observe on on, uh, on GBPJPY? Now, GBPJPY is above this area here in monthly, right? It means that there's a turning point that has been broken here. You can see we tested it, but not a proper retest. Now, when you come down to the weekly time frame, now weekly shows that we have a proper, uh, we tested this area here. I'm just going to adjust, just not to make the slab so big. So weekly shows us that this area here has been tested, but in monthly it's showing us that not convincing, so weekly, so there's a higher chance that the market may actually want to come back down here because we can see in weekly the market closed within this area here. So there are two options here. You don't want to be buying at resistance because the market closed at resistance here, right? So you either want the market first come down here before you look for the trade or you're going to be looking, if you're a reversal trader, you're going to be looking for opportunities for change of trend here too. If not, if you're not interested in, in that, then you should be waiting for the market to close above here. Then on the retest, then you'll be taking your trade. Mm -hmm. Now, let's check if Adele agrees with that. Let me just go back to monthly. Monthly is sh showing us that this level was broken, but not retested convincingly, right? So there's a higher chance we may come back here to retest and continue. Now, weekly is saying that we're at resistance, so there's a higher chance we may push back down here to continue, right? If not, let it continue higher, just like a monthly setting. It either continues higher 
right? Or it comes back down to retest. So meaning weekly and monthly is speaking the same thing. Now let's check daily. What is daily actually showing us? Now, when you come down to daily, daily is a bit uh, much more clear at the same time, uh, tricky. Now, daily shows that we already have uh, a base here. By a base, I mean uh, this bottom here, which rejected the price. Again, price came here until was rejected. Are we together? But now, if we look at, let's look at uh, a simple price action. Here, the market created a high, higher low, higher high. What did we expect? We expected the price to come and test this area and then it continues higher. But he said the market made a false breakout, went back to create double tops. Then again, broke down. We when the market broke down, we expected the market to, to retest, right? What happened? Instead, the market again broke up. So meaning that we have some virgin areas down here, which may actually force price to come a little bit lower to grab liquidity before continuing, right? But again, now in daily, this is a previous resistance area and now it's acting as a support. You don't just want to start taking sales here if you're trading reversals. That's why I don't recommend reversals, right? So I'm just going to add here a level uh, that personally, personally, as me, I would be interested in the price coming back a little bit lower into this area here. Let me just increase this. I'm just going to be putting it blue. I'll be interested in seeing price coming back a little bit lower. Remember, as a buyer, you want to the, you want to buy at the cheapest price possible. Most of you don't understand that's the reason as to why you go in the market or whatever, wherever you're going to buy, maybe your sneakers, your clothes, and what. And you, I'm not meaning about the designer shops. Most times you don't. It's hard to bargain there, but I'm uh, meaning uh, any shop, any local shop in your locality. Uh, you want to bargain at least. If someone says that uh, this watch is a thousand dollars, you say at least have eight fifty, eight seventy, nine hundred thirty, like that. At least you try to get a discount. So it's the same thing that you want to do in the market. You want to buy at the at the lowest price says possible. For example, here you don't want to buy from here. Yes, this, this is the previous resistance. If the price changes, it is okay. But it's not the best alternative. The best alternative for me is here. Why? Because the market had the resistance here, support here, broke down. Tested not properly, broke above. So this area here is having a lot of uh, orders, I think, for the industry players, right? So now this is what we have seen on GBP, JP. Now let's check. This is just structure. We've we identified our structure levels. We have this area of interest. We have this area of interest and this area of interest. So if price changes from here, well and good. You now know what change of trend is. When price changes from here, well and good. If it changes from here, well and good. But we are saying that it should not break. The moment it breaks here, it is, there's a problem, right? So we have established that we're in an uptrend, but where what are the areas that we want to take our trades from? These are the areas. Sorry. Uh, let me just... Which areas do you want to trade from? The areas are this one. Resistance, resistance, support, support. Resistance, support, now becomes support. So these are crucial areas you can take from. Now let's check our entry time frame. I love using H4. Now H4, you can clearly see here, the market was moving upwards. We created a high, higher low, high, higher low. Right, you can just mark this area. You can see the market test. The market made an aggressive push, so this area here is not tested, meaning there's a possibility of the market actually pushing into this area. Now we are seeing that the market is aggressively dropping down, lower low, lower high, lower low. But these are aggressive levels leaving behind a lot of untested levels. So the market can, when the market opens, uh, when the week opens, it may have push inside here before coming down here, or this is the first alternative. If it pushes here, we'll use this movement here. To give you a drop down here if you're experienced and your rules are together because this is a reversal trading but if it doesn't do that and instead it first pushes down look for change of trend here when it gives you a change of trend this is a lower low lower high lower low when it changes trend from here identify levels that are not tested like this one so this would be your target especially for those who want to uh, trade intraday or scalp and the rest right so this is how you can utilize your first target will be this when it breaks and then you can be uh, trade uh, targeting a higher high because we're an uptrend so those who trade GBP, JPY, this is how you you can get you can utilize on the term I first defined price action setup. By price action, we want to see use a set of rules of the, what we uh, we have told you like M's, W's, higher highs and higher lows, and we want to see the behavior of price in those levels that we identified. So we have identified these levels here, and now we want to see how price uh, behaves in these levels. Now that is for GBP, JPY. Let's look at also CAD JPY. So I'm just going to do a small recap and then also we, we break it down. So we, we spoke about uh, price coming back to, uh, let me just mark again. We spoke about price breaking this area here and price coming back to retest it. At first it was so big, this whole area here like this, this whole area. If you can watch, the, I'm going to attach the previous video, this whole, whole area had marked it, but then we, we zeroed down. And we went down to the weekly time frame. We mentioned that in weekly, 
we had a level that uh, here, we had an improper test here, and then also we marked this area here, and also we marked this level here. You can just watch in the video, I marked this area here that I'm just sh shading green, this one, and then we expected the price to come to, to break this level retest and then come back down here. Although it went a little bit deeper to the untested level, then it went up, right? So that's why change of trend is very important. Most people, when the market levels like this and price touches them, they start wanting to take trends. Then when you come back to the daily time frame, you can clearly see uh, what we spoke about here. I said that if the market breaks below this area, we have we shall expect a retracement when we push into this level. Though this was the area that I was so much interested in, but price aggressively broke below here and came back the, and to the improper tested level and then tested it properly and gave us a higher low and then pushed higher. You can see, I wasn't interested, though I didn't expect this price action down here to this level. That's why my entry was on this uh, above level here because the area I saw a price to, uh, to come and react to. And you can see, again, you have to follow your rules. So my entry was not down here. Instead, it was up. I know I would have gotten an, an entry earlier because the market was trending. Higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high, higher, low, entry broke. So I could have taken a trade here. I could have taken a trade here. Or I could have taken a trade where I took from. But I opted here because I was interested in this particular level. That's what we mean by following your rules, right? And uh, picking exactly a, a price action at the level that you're, you're interested in, area of interest, right? Of course, I know this area was an area of interest plus this one, but personally, I was interested in this one here. So we're going to clear everything here so that we can again do a fresh. So when you go down to the monthly time frame, the levels are still the same. We are, currently, we are observing that price is above this high here that it had uh, created. So it didn't change much from the previous video. Now, when you go down to the weekly time frame, you can see resistance, resistance. So this area has not been properly tested, right? So when you go down to the daily time frame, so we're expecting that there's a high probability that we could see actually a price coming back to test this level. Now, let me, let's go back clearly and we first mark. So we have a level that a high that was broken here, right? Then uh, we also have the, this high here is that which gave us a test to this level here, this high. So I'm just going to mark it. So if you were to mark it like this, we clearly observed that the market came here and reacted to it. This was the aggressive break. And then again, what did we expect? A weak retracement. He said we broke up aggressively. So meaning that this level here has not been uh, tested, but also we are having uh, a previous lower high in this area here. I'm just going to mark this area here, like this. We're having this previous area here. So as the price is approaching these levels, watch how it approaches here before we can have a continuation, either there or this area. Because the market, when the market, this was a, a high, higher low, high, higher low. Then we made a lower high and it broke down. So the market aggressively broke above. So leaving this area, untested and this area untested. So these are the levels that we are interested in now. So once your price is going to come and behave here, price action, how is price behaving at a at particular level that we have marked? So this is our area of interest and this is our area of interest because they're not tested. Are we together? So I'm just going to remove this one. I hope it is very clear. Now, when you go down to the H4 uh, time frame, uh, how is price behaving? Or oh, let's first utilize which levels did we leave out untested? We also have a level. This level was not properly tested. I'm just going to mark it for you with the red uh, line so that you can keep in your mind that in case the market is all manipulating, which area could I be uh, interested in? We have this area here, right? Because the market didn't test it. What about this area? Did the price test it? No. We can see it's aligning. What about this area? Did the price test it? No. So these are the areas that we're interested in. Either the market comes and changes the trend from here, then you look for buys. Now, if you're looking for buys, there, look for levels that have all been tested. Some of you like using pair value gaps uh, and the rest. So we have one here. We have also a neckline here. So it, you can use this if the, as your first target. Then as the market goes up, look use this push up as to look for change of trend until it comes and targets here. That's one alternative. The second alternative is if the market continues making lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high until this area. Utilize this move down and look for a change of trend. When the market changes trend and starts trending upwards, you can target the untested levels or the untested fair value or gaps, right? Or imbalances. We have this area and also the neckline. Are we together? So it depends on how the market is going to open up. 
Why am I using these ones? I've just explained. This level here is not tested. It can also stretch up to this red line here. Why? Because you can see higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. Level not tested. Higher high, higher low, level not tested. Aligning perfectly with the levels of marked. Higher high, level not tested. Higher high, this area here, not tested. That's why you see the market is a bit reacting here. It reacted a bit, not tested. But this one was tested, so you can see it was broken smoothly, so it can test here, then continues making that. But the levels that we're interested in clearly are these ones. I've showed you the reason as to why. This one here or this one here. When the market wants to really uh, punish people, it could drop even up to lower here. So if you're very experienced and you're well conversant with the rules, you can utilize this move to these levels here. And this move to these levels can give you the change of trend to continue higher. Are we together? So I hope you've picked out something uh, about price action. Most people tend to think it's something very difficult to understand and also set ups. Se a set of rules depending on how price is going to behave at a particular area that you've marked. So we have marked our areas and we're expecting a certain set of rules to play out at those particular areas that we've marked. Right? So that is it. I hope uh, you've learned something new. Uh, have a nice weekend.